Hey, this is Sal from SleepySal.com. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to attach a mattress and box spring to the top of a vehicle safely and properly. So stay tuned for that. Today I'm going to share with you uh, uh, from my experience of probably putting over a thousand mattresses on top of a vehicle. I'm going to show you the proper way to put a mattress on top of a vehicle. Unfortunately, not everybody has access to a pickup truck or a large van or, or can afford to rent a van. And sometimes you just got to move a mattress quickly and all you got is a car. So we're going to use this Toyota Prius here, not the biggest vehicle. I'm going to show you how we can put a queen size mattress and box on it. And of course, you'd be able to use an, any smaller size, full size, twin size. Do the same thing. I don't recommend going up to a king size. On a vehicle like that, very difficult. It can be done. It just doesn't look right going down the road. Look like you have some wings on your on your vehicle you might take off. But there's a lot of times when all you've got is a, a car, uh, sedan, SUV. You can't fit a mattress inside of it, queen, full, or otherwise. And you have to put it on top. So the best way to do that is with ratchet straps. And the length you want to get is four, 15 foot, at least 15 foot long ratchet straps. That'll give you enough strapping to go all the way around a queen mattress. Matter of fact, you could put two queen mattress sets together and go all the way around them with 15 foot ratchet straps. Um, so at least 15 foot. Now these are rated at 400 pound each. And there's a, an old saying that there's about 400 pounds of wind pressure on the front of a mattress. So you need something sturdy to hold them down. You see mattresses blown on the side of the freeway all the time. And I've had people come to me with kite string and thread and bungee cords. Don't, don't even try any of that. Ratchet straps is the way to go. I'm not advertising ratchet straps, but it's the best way to go to secure a mattress, transport it safely on top of your vehicle. A lot of times a vehicle will have a uh, flexible antenna mounted to it. And you could put the mattress over it. I don't recommend it. Uh, so I usually remove them. They're easily removable. They just unscrew, take it off, put it in your glove box. Uh, I like to take a piece of cardboard and just cover it so it doesn't put a hole in the mattress. Okay, so this is a queen mattress we're going to be putting on top of the Prius here. Um, we're going to put the quilt side down on top of the vehicle because that's the soft side. We, we want to protect the vehicle. There we go, and we can slide it back. Make sure we're centered. Okay, so we've got the, the uh, mattress on top of the vehicle now. We want to make sure it's centered left to right, and we want to make sure that it's not going to obstruct the windshield. You can see here it's off the windshield. It's better to let it lay over the back of the vehicle. And if you have an SUV with racks on top, you would lay the, do the same thing, lay it on top of the racks of the SUV. Okay, so this is a queen size box spring and we're going to put the top side down. This would be the side that would be pointing up laying on your bed and the mattress would go on top of it. So we're putting it upside down. Uh, on the back side of the mattress or on the underside of the mattress is what they call a dust cover. It's just a, uh, usually a black, very thin piece of cloth that's stapled around just to keep the dust from settling inside the box. Uh, so we're going to lift this up and put it exactly on top of the mattress. So now you can see we've got the box upside down on top of the mattress that's also upside down. And we're ready to strap it down. Now if you're alone or with somebody, what I'm going to do is you've got two sides of this strap. You've got the side with the hook and the side with no hook. You want to throw the side with no hook over because you don't want to damage your vehicle or hit somebody in the mouth on the other side. So I'll just simply take this and throw it over. Okay, we've got all the windows down in the vehicle and we want to do this in a safe manner. If we, the driver is going to be here, we don't have any other passengers in this vehicle today. So we're going to open the door and we're going to put the strap on the inside of the door and close the door. That way, the driver can come in and out of the vehicle. The straps are not locking them in. If you have passengers in the vehicle, do the same thing. Do not go through the windows. 
If you have no passengers, go through all the windows of the doors where there's no passengers. That's for safety so you can get in and out of the vehicle in case of an emergency or just to simply exit the vehicle. Okay, so we got a 15 foot strap. It's going all the way around the mattress. I'm gonna take the other end of the ratchet and go hook and hook. And then I'm gonna put the hooks above so we've got this end of the strap now. We're going to feed it through. And you always want to pull tight on a ratchet strap before you tighten it down because there's not enough room to spool all this strap in there and you'll cause it to jam. You won't be able to release it later and you'll have to cut the strap and ruin it. We want to reuse these straps. From there, now that we've got it, we can ratchet this down nice and tight. We're going to do another strap in the rear now. We've got the second strap. We're going to come to the rear of the vehicle now and we're going to we're going to throw this one over like we did the front. Remember, don't throw the hook over, throw the side with no hook. Nobody gets hurt. There's no passengers sitting in the rear of the vehicle, so we've got the windows down and we can go right through the windows. And this will be passed over to the other side. To get the maximum amount of grip on the mattress and box, we want to be towards the rear of this window. And we're going to do the same thing as we did before. We're going to go hook and hook. And we're going to make sure it gets over the top. We feed it through, through the back, out the front. You always want this part of the strap to be facing forward take any kinks out and we're going to move it up and we're going to pull tight before we ratchet. Now we'll ratchet it down. Okay, great. So we've got the mattress tightly secured. You want to put just the right amount of tension. You don't want to secure this uh, full force because you might break the wood on the box, but just tight and snug on both of these. You can see now that this is actually attached to the vehicle and is not going anywhere. If you have a SUV that has racks on top, you would go through the racks and, and secure it the same way. Now to undo the ratchet straps, there's a release here. You pull the release and you have to hold it all the way down until it's parallel and then it comes loose and you can pull the bottom strap off. I've showed you how to do it safely. We're going to use ratchet straps. Make sure they're good ones, rated at least 400 pounds. We're using two of them. You could use three if you wanted to feel a little more secure about what you're doing. We've opened the windows and gone through and all the way around with the straps through the windows. Now when the vehicle leaves, the windows can go up and can be closed tightly. So if you're running your air conditioner or heat, it's, uh, you don't have to drive with the windows down and you can do that with all the windows on the passenger side on the driver side where there is a driver entering and exiting the vehicle we open the door and went through and then we close the door on the strap and you'll want to do that if there's other passengers in the vehicle otherwise go through the windows that's the easiest and best way remember not to over tighten the straps because you could break the wood of your box and you don't want to do that but you can get it just right to where it's solid and becomes part of the vehicle and you can transport this down the road uh, anywhere you want to go thanks again for coming to the sleepy sale channel you can visit me on sleepysale.com you can email me and uh, we'll hope to see you again on the next one